everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make Finding Nemo. Um, if you watch uh, the Disney movie Finding Nemo, um, you will definitely remember the little orange clownfish um, uh, character, Nemo. So today I'm going to show you how to make him quick and e very quick and easy. Um, all these videos that I'm doing on my channel is to raise awareness against child sex slavery. Um, Every year, millions of children as young as six or even three are being sold into the sex trade uh, to serve around 15 uh, to 20 men a day. Um, it's, it's not a subject that everyone wants want to talk about, but it is an issue that is global and we need to do something about it. So I'm doing my part by being a voice uh, for, um, for the cause. And uh, today I'm wearing a t-shirt called Be a Voice, Stop Child Sex Slavery. So uh, do whatever you can, um, spread the word, and hopefully one day we won't have any children being sold into the sex trade anymore, and they can be children like they should be. So anyway, uh, moving on, um, I've been doing a lot of uh, balloon decorating for events and parties, and after a while, my hands get all dry and painful and sometimes it even bleeds to, because you're constantly um, doing the balloons. So I find that if you put a bit of Vaseline, just regular uh, petroleum jelly, before you uh, do the balloons, then it helps you your hand not to be so dry and also um, you don't pop the balloon easily because uh, when the hands is dry, there's friction with the balloon so it's e easier to pop it. But when the hands, you know, a little bit moisturized and slippery, then it's easier, I find, to um, uh, twist the balloon. But then don't over put it because then it'll become too greasy and then you can't do anything. So to make Nemo, um, this is what he looks like. Okay, um, you will need two orange 260 and um, uh, a white... So I'm going to do the orange, the two orange first. So I'm going to pump the balloon to about that much. Okay. After you pump, it's going to feel quite tight here. Give it a squeeze. Squeeze, then the air travels through the ends. And then you're going to tie the knot. you're going to untwist this out. And then, so this part is going to be long, a little bit longer than that. I'm going to use the half of the leftover for the eyes as well. So I'm going to wrap this around this. I'm going to wrap it around here. So usually if you want to connect something together, then you 
just wrap it around wherever you want to come in. So then make a little ball. be further apart. You want it tight together like that. So, you're going to measure the white the same size or a little bit bigger than orange, but it goes from big to small like that. And then you're going to make a little ball here as well. And then Measure these two the same. Like this. And now we're going to twist them around. Balloon because you can make more of it after, right? So, cut that. So, save that. You can do like a, a penguin's peak or, you know, whatever. Another eye if you have to. So, now you have this. Then, you're going to put these two together. And, so, if this can be a little bit smaller than that, so it's a little bit smaller here and a little bit longer there. So the fins go up like this slightly.
super thin. So let's just add a little like that. Tie it together. And save this. We'll make the fin after. Okay. So back to here. So it's almost the end. I'm going to pull it like this. Leave a bit of a space. So it looks like this. I'm going to get this off a bit. Down here. So one on this side, and one on this side. One twist here. See? Now you are going to untwist it. See? So it looks a little carved in. So it looks a little bit more like a fish. So this one that was left over, and then I'm going to make a little bar, since I can't tie it, I'm just going to twist it around like this, and in half. But if you do, it's cute. So 
now I'm just gonna get a um, uh, black uh, permanent marker and I'm just going to draw in the eyes. So how do you draw the eyes here? Draw another circle inside. Like that, and then you're gonna color the other one. And then you just draw a little smiley face. Like that. So, there you go. And that's how you make a clownfish. So, as you can see, it's quite easy. Um, once you master it and know how to um, make it, it's very fast. So, that's Nemo right there. He's so cute. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Um, I hope uh, this was a helpful video for you. Again, please like my videos. I'm trying to spread the word um, to help stop child sex slavery. And um, uh, I hope you enjoy all the videos that I do. Please give me comments or if you have any suggestions what you want to see me make, I can definitely uh, try my best to make it um, regarding balloons <laughs> or hair or makeup uh, since that is my profession. So again, um, thank you for watching and please be a voice and spread the word against child sex slavery. Thanks everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.